organization. We've seen him a few times this spring. He's a left-hander. And that gives you that uh, odd look out there on the mound. A little bit uh, herky-jerky as far as his delivery. And he gets ready and fires the first pitch in as he faces a left-handed batter, Jack Peterson, and the first pitch of ball. Another method that throws across his body. He thinks he's going to drop down on you a little bit more, but uh, we slow it down and see where the ball's coming out of his... more of a side armor, and sometimes even above. It's got the ability to hide the baseball. He ducks, he thinks he's going to be coming way under. Laredo, but he doesn't. The count on Peterson, one and one. He missed the last pitch, and he takes that one for a called strike. Mailey is in his third appearance, an inning and a third. He's yet to give up a hit. No runs allowed. He has a win out of the bullpen. And here's the one-two. That's way outside, nowhere close. The call to the bullpen here in the bottom of the fourth inning brought to you by Farmer John. If you're tailgating under the big A or watching the game at home, pick up Farmer John hot dogs and smoked dinner sausage. You get that authentic stadium taste anytime. Visit FarmerJohn.com for recipes that are sure to be a home run. Here's the two-two, and Peterson takes a... They cut it down and fouls it off. <laughs> that was not a two-strike swing right there. He was looking to go way out there. He had a lot of home runs last year in Triple A. 33 home runs. That was a big hack. His father, former Dodger, Stu Peterson. He's had two home runs this spring for the Dodgers, and there's a pitch that didn't miss by much, so it's a full count. Peterson hitting uh, over 400 this spring for the Dodgers. Pretty good chance he's going to be their uh, opening day center fielder. They're very high on him. They're very comfortable that he can go get him. It's a 3-2 pitch. This is lined in the left center, and Trout's not going to be able to get to it. It's going to roll all the way out to the wall. Peterson will go to second, and he is there with a double. So one out double. He's showing a lot. After the big swing, one thing he cut down a lot of his swing is the fact that this ball was located more out over the plate. He was able to find the barrel and score it off nicely. But he does not get cheated. Good athlete. They're very happy with his progress in center field. Got exposed to the big leagues last year. Remember saw his father in 1985 when he uh, played some games with the Dodgers. Matt Carson is the batter. This is his first time up. He's hitting out a Heisey spot, and he replaced him in center field. He takes that one for a ball. So one out, one on. We'll give you Heaney's numbers, the Angels starter, in just a moment. And the next pitch, this is bounced on the third base side, fielded by Freeze. One play first base in time to get Carson. And on the play, Peterson ends up moving to third. So two outs with a runner at third base. Lars Anderson is the next batter. Andrew Heaney, the starter, three and one third innings, seven hits, six runs, all earned, one walk, three strikeouts. The pitch from Mailey, and that one on the left-handed batter misses for a ball. It's one ball, no strikes. Mailey spells his last name M-A-H-L-E. The left-hander's next pitch. That's low. Well, for Andrew Heaney today, Terry, it's a matter of uh, understanding that this kid is still a work in progress. He has not secured a spot rotation. The rotation all of a sudden yesterday got a little bit deeper. Next pitch, this one is bounced down near the mound. Mailey has it. His throw to first is in time, and the inning will end on the comebacker. So here in the inning, no runs. They had a hit, no errors, and they leave the runner at third. He's completed four innings today here in Glendale. Dodgers right now up on the Angels 6-3 on the Angels Baseball Radio Network and Fox Sports West.